uh, I'm I'm so tired and distressed and worried by the 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 great fissure that has opened up the culture wars, whatever we like to call it. The assumption that um, that there is uh, your friends and your enemy and no ground in between, no commonality of no cohesion of viewpoint, no shared things that can happen between people who apparently represent different ways of looking at the world or different ways of trying to organize the world or whatever it might be. I'm leery of any attempts to restrict free speech because in those cases of difficult differentiation, the only possible solution we have is dialogue mm. about the problem, about exactly where to draw the line, yeah. because otherwise we can't. Actually, I've been surprised that in the all, you know, there's all this talk in America right now about the divisiveness in America. And, and I'm, yeah, I've been surprised that the 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 ego hasn't come up more often as a causal effect. Uh, it, it's 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 so flattering to the ego to have followers, to have people say you're great. I love the things you say that. Um, it's quite hard to say no, but you've misunderstood me. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant at all. That power is grounded in the sovereignty of the people. And imperfect as that may be, it's more grounded in the sovereignty of the people than any other system we've ever managed to whip up. I mean, it's it's difficult also because it, centri it's difficult to make centrism dramatic and romantic. And it's much easier to make extremism dramatic and romantic, and that's one of its primary attractions. And that attraction should not be underestimated. I do think the you know the last best hope for our society, in whichever way you want to look at, whether you want to look at it as some version of the West being able to stand up to the uh, pressures put upon it by China and Russia and other countries that are less interested in liberality in ec economics and in the traditional political sense of liberality or kind of um, open society or whatever you want to call it, um, that, that if we continue to fracture and we continue to find enemies amongst our own kind so much, um, then really it's a very, very sad look at Well, I go to have a conversation with someone and I just think that I'm right. I think that my viewpoints are right and your viewpoints are wrong. Mm -hmm. And worse, worse, not just wrong, contemptible. <laughs> exactly. That's like the ultimate expression of raw, right? They're beneath my consideration. Right. Yeah, and that's that's not good. That's so, definitely not good. How do I how do I listen to anything that you say? How do I how do I find any common ground with you if I think that what you think is contemptible? And so therefore we can't have a conversation. If we don't have a conversation, we can't find any mutual ground. And that means we can't find solutions to the problems that we're facing. And it Yes, and it means when push comes to shove, we have to fight. Yes, it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you that's not a good option. It's more comfortable in some sense to have contempt for things. That casual contempt for what you can't do that's a, that's a real ethical mistake. I see among academics, you know, there's always contempt for businessmen and, and the immorality of the capitalist enterprise. And then I see among businessmen, you know, contempt for intellectualism and the ivory tower. And I think that's not doing either of you guys much good, you know, because you both have something to bring to the table in a real sense. And some appreciate, appreciation for what the other one knows that you don't is well worth everyone's attempt. And then everybody gets to win too. It's like, well, great, man, you've got this business enterprise, more power to you. And and then you can say too, well, you know, great, you teach all these people and you have this advanced learning and isn't the world better because we can both bring that to the table. No need for for that envy, not at all. Mm. Just It just contaminates things.